Last video I mentioned that you have to manually check if custom properties have changed because there is no callback function for that. Well, there is a slight chance I was mistaken. At some point, Photon slipped that in and I must have missed it. So let's go ahead and cover how to get that callback and process the information. Also, this video is from the future, so if you see some game objects or code that you don't recognize, don't worry about it. Just focus on whatever I'm discussing at the time of this video and everything will be okay. To begin, I'm going to take my random custom property generator, which we made in the last video. It's just a game object in my creator join room canvas. I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to just remove the one here because that's driving me nuts. I will expand the current rum canvas and I'll actually drop this just somewhere here on the bottom and then I'm going to enable the current rum canvas and I'm going to take my duplicated item and just reposition it somewhere. Looks like it's actually a little bit smaller um, Maybe I didn't change the scaling on the canvas or something. So I'm just going to enlarge it a little bit here. And I think I'm going to increase the font size as well. Bump that up to, let's say, uh, let's say 100. There we go. So I have it next to my start game button. The functionality of this button is not going to change. What we actually want to look at is the player listing uh, script as that's what holds the player name and displays the custom property that we are setting from the create a join room canvas. So I'm going to jump back into Visual Studio here and it doesn't look like I have it open so I'm going to do a search for class player listing. Okay so you can see that under set player info it takes the photon player and then it grabs their custom property called random number and assigns that just towards the text. In order to get the callback we need, this has to be a mono behavior pun callbacks. It's not recognizing this, so I need to add the namespace using photon pun. Now I'm going to add the override. So it'll be public override void on player. And I want properties update. Now I'm going to actually take this code right here under set player info and I'm going to cut it and then make a new method. I'll call it private void set player text and then I'm going to expect a player type being the photon uh, real time player. And I'm going to paste the code in and then up here I'm going to call set player text and I'm going to pass in player. This is just so that I can simplify the process by calling this method on our player properties update without having to rewrite code. Now I'm going to do a quick check if target doesn't equal null, which it should never be null, but just in case, as well if target equals player, referring to the player that we have stored up here, then process the logic below. At this point, I could literally just call set player text target and we would be good to go. But I also want to demonstrate how you can check if a certain key exists before you uh, process the keys that you have. That way, you're not potentially doing extra work in your project. And that's actually very easy to do. So I'm going to delete that line and I'll just do if change props dot contains key and the key I'm looking for is random number because that's the key we're using to assign and get the random number so if the random number was changed because this hash table only change or sorry will only contain the change keys so if this is in there we know that the key changed in which case if true we will then call set player text and then pass in target Optionally, you may want the player which is setting the properties to also receive the on player properties update. In order to do that, you have to make sure that the properties are set to broadcast in the room options. 
I believe by default it's true, but just in case, I'm going to head over to my Create Room menu script and where I have Room Options, I'm just going to do Options dot Broadcast Props Change to All and set that to True. We also need to update some old code. Going to my random custom property generator, which is what we use to generate our random number, setting the custom properties using this method is actually not recommended. When I first begun working with Photon Pun version 1, this is the technique that they suggested we use. However, something new is preferred. So instead of setting it this way, I'm going to go ahead and comment out this code. I'm going to do photon network dot set player custom properties and then I'm going to pass in underscore my my custom properties. Lastly, there is one more thing to do and it may not apply to you. I'm going to go over to the test connect script and I covered adding auth values for a friends list tutorial involving Photon. If you have this in your, uh, in your script, go ahead and comment it out like I do. As I mentioned when I went over the friends list video, you can't have two users with the same auth values connected. In order to test, I need all my users to have unique values, so that's why I'm commenting this out. Going back to Unity, I'm going to disable the current room canvas as that's how it was to begin with and now I'm going to start a build. I have a build up with the latest changes. On the executable here, I've already made a room. I called it some room, and I left my custom properties blank, so I have not clicked this little generate custom properties box yet. On the uh, Unity player, I'm gonna go ahead and set my custom properties randomly. It's 48, and I'm gonna join the room. And if I go back to the executable, I see 48 from the Unity client, but I see negative one which is the executable because I have not set them yet. So if I click this to change them, you can see that it's updating in real time over to my Unity player for my executable, thus indicating that everything is working. Don't forget to check the description to see if anything has changed. Maybe I updated some notes. And if you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to comment.